Hello everyone! In this video I'll start by giving you an example of a descriptive writing about a journey on a crowded train. I'll then show you some of the literary devices I used in the writing. This video would be useful to both 11 plus and GCSE students. He had always hated the evening rush hour. Dozens of people crammed like cattle into the same train carriage, hardly able to move an inch. Clothes pasted to their wearers' bodies, held fast by sweat that no amount of deodorant could mask. The mingled stench of the day's labour of these people always seemed to curl upwards like coiling fingers, invading his nose with an unbearable reek until he could hardly breathe. As if that wasn't enough, there was always an obnoxious somebody spewing obscenities far too loudly over the phone, blind to the pointed glares directed at him. Looking around at all these people, all wearing the exact same drained expression, all longing to go home and stretch their weary limbs, all hating the necessary journey to get there, it made him wonder why they, him included, even did it. Go to work a job which they hated, to come back home on this horrible train and do it all over again, eight hours, five days a week, like clockwork. Stuffed into his too narrow seat, he tried to stretch his back as well as he could. He tugged at his collar. Cool cataracts of perspiration were trickling down his back and sprouting amidst the wrinkles on his forehead. Even in the most sweltering weather, his job demanded suits and ties. A swarm of indolent flies had taken up residence at one of the windows, drifting round and round the carriage. He followed their flight with dull eyes. Their monotonous drone was enough to drive anyone to madness. The rush hour was always the worst part of his day, but in summer it was truly unbearable. After what seemed like an interminable period of time, the cool automated voice informed him that he had reached his stop. Sighing with relief, he forced his way through to the door, through the sweating mass of people, ready to repeat the ordeal tomorrow. Here are some of the literary devices that I used in this writing. The first example you can see is a simile, which uses alliteration. This helps to create a really nice flow to the writing. The second example is also a simile, and it also has some alliterative elements in it, with the words curl and coiling. In the first sentence, you can see that the word all is repeated multiple times, which creates a really monotonous effect which conveys the exhaustion that the commuter feels. In the next example, you can see that alliteration is used in the metaphor cool cataracts of perspiration, which again creates a really nice flow. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.